Hey guys, another behemoth update. I'm uh, still waiting for parts to get here, so unfortunately that means I have a lot more time to think about things and more like overthink things and question some of my uh, design decisions. So for the Y slide, I've originally planned to use these 10 millimeter bearings with holes cut like in here and in here on either side so so the rod could slide in and out and I'd use about 460 millimeters of rod which weighs about of 10 millimeter hardened steel shaft and that weighs about 0.7 pounds for each one so we're talking about uh, one point uh, almost 1.5 pounds just for the rods then I was going to use some aluminum I've got some clamps on either end and I put an aluminum angle from one rod to the other and the stepper the NEMA 17 stepper with the two bearings here kind of printer bot style uh, with the belt will run to the ends of the channel on either ends of the rods and then I was going to use some three quarter inch rod on the top on either side and then have some holes drilled through the rods with the um, with the screws and the springs on it to support the the glass and and heated build platform like I'd, I've used on my other rep wraps so that's one way a little bit concerned about how much that's going to weigh um, because of the rods um, the 460 millimeters of rods moving, you know, we're like 1.5 pounds plus all of the other um, stuff that's going to be on there. It's probably going to be at least 2, 2.2 pounds, I would say, and I'm, I'm just not sure if that NEMA 17 can handle it. The, uh, the plan was, if it can't, I will just make another spot for a NEMA 23, and I've measured, and I can get a NEMA 23 inside here, and put a NEMA 23 in here, and... Um, that should give me more torque because the the Ultima Sheen NEMA 17 I'm running here right now is uh, going to be I think it's 72 ounce inch and I can get a, um, a NEMA 23 in there that has at least twice that so that is that was the plan but then I started thinking about the weight and if that's going to be an issue I um, and whether I should just go with a, a, a different design what I thought about using was some two inch aluminum channel and I would cut a sl slots here and here on either side here for two pieces of channel and the channel would run out um, uh, as much as it needed to here and there and then I'd mount the the rod on the channel and then I would have these on I would use the bearings with some um, aluminum angle on um, to make the bed and, and the mounts so I'd be able to make it a lot a lot lighter and I'm pretty sure the NEMA 17 would have no issues with that because it would be comparable to the uh, the weight of the um, existing slide I use right now on one of the, the Prusa printers I'm using so um, I don't know I've uh, I hate having the time. I just wish the parts were here. I would have already tried one. I guess it's not. They're not mutually exclusive. If I put the hole here and it doesn't work, I can make the slots over here and and still make it work. Uh, cutting the, the slots for the the channel on the top if I need to. So um, it's not like I'll have to go out and get another piece of uh, four inch aluminum square tube. So those are some thoughts, and um, I'm interested to see if anybody has any opinion, any opinions on that, or anybody has any experience running some heavy Y uh, slides, and if they've had to use NEMA 23 or anything like that. So uh, if you've got any uh, feedback, uh, please let me know. Thanks.